Alrighty, we're back. And his little chin strap here, his head form does seem to cut off pretty severely over on this side. Um, I want to make sure that this, this whole section here is translated as his head. So I'm actually going to render, oopsies, render out his chin strap just for a bit. We're gonna put it back in, don't you worry. Um, but I wanna make sure that once we get that back in that it's translating correctly. Got some folds up here. So I've been at this, I, I don't know actually, I haven't been keeping track of time, uh, which I should be doing, kind of just playing it by, uh, by my circadian rhythm, but not necessarily sure how, how long I've been at this. It could have, it could be a half an hour, it could be three hours, I have no idea. All I know is that I'm enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun kind of problem solving and figuring out where things are supposed to be. Um, that's, that's the beauty of this kind of work is that you can, you can really get lost. You can really just keep plugging away. Um, and it's nice. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, the, the, the few that have chosen to, to stop by and take a look, um, hopefully they're, they're having fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun, but, um, I know for a fact that I am, and I want to reiterate that to my future self, that I am having fun right now, and I hope you are as well. So it looks like that chin strap's really tight on there, and that's good. We want him, we want his head to be, his, his head to be safe, we want his noggin to be safe. We know how important um, our heads are, rhinos especially. They deserve, they deserve good, good protection. Um, cool. That looks a bit better. All right, so I got distracted there. Last time we were working here on the little chest piece, um, got some ridges rendered in here. They're not the greatest looking, but hey, they work. They're working. Um, let's kind of move down here to the belt. His pro wrestling belt. You know, I'm probably not going to render this a whole, 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 whole lot. Might give some suggestion to um, some kind of embellishment, some pattern, some, some carving. But very much just going to be squiggly lines that make it look like it's patterned in some way. Kind of just going back and forth. Um, this is what I used to love to do as a kid, just kind of making squiggly lines and, and making it look like something's really, really intricate when it, in fact it's not really intricate at all. That made me feel good. It's like, yeah, that looks really really complicated and embellished but you know in in all honesty it's just squiggly lines there's there's nothing to it um, you know I kind of fruited that up that doesn't look that doesn't look very good um, yeah you know what we're gonna we're gonna try this again folks <laughs> try it one more time maybe actually give it some thought this time um, what, let's see, so, rhinos, what, what would rhinos value in terms of, um, like, beliefs? I know that strength would probably be one of them, um, I don't know what kind of symbol they would use for that, since they have horns, maybe, you know, maybe their horns are a symbol of power, so maybe we can try to 
incorporate that into his belt here. Horns, though. I mean, there's two horns. One of them smaller than the other. Kind of looks like a tooth, but... Make it work. So this was carved by a master craftsman. And, um... You know, intricate work for rhinos is very tricky, so the fact that he was able to carve this out is just a feat in itself. Cool. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Better than the squiggly lines that I had before. Right on. Some, some shade here. Again, part of that armor is going to be obstructing some of the uh, the view there. All right, belt is down. Uh, darker. Uh, oh boy, his head looks a little flat here. We'll worry about that later. Um, let's just get some of the bigger forms done here. I do want to add a bit darker under his uh, his pauldron so that's gonna be fairly dark and we want that pauldron to kind of pop out actually may even go just black black in some areas maybe not full I might pull from this value here but enough to actually give the pauldron a bit of a pop yeah I'm actually gonna soften this up substantially so that I get a nice nice blending there and maybe some suggestion of form there we go well, that might be too dark but we could always push that later um but I think that's a good good start um might just do a quick quickly do the same over uh, where his arm is Okay, cool. Just come along. Uh, again, just getting very much distracted. I think this whole side of his face might be might be darker. Um, maybe not this part here. It might curve down. Um, so maybe I'll just suggest that. Oh. Okay. Um, oh boy, you know what? I haven't saved in a while, so I'm going to definitely spam that command S. Save that. Um, cool. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. You know, I used to believe that you with Photoshop... You have to get the right brushes for for making any kind of good art, but I have proven to myself that you don't necessarily need a plethora of you know custom-made brushes. As as cool as they are, I really do enjoy um, brushes. They're not a, they're not as critical as I used to believe they were. You, you can do a lot of really good work with just a round brush. Um, and it shows you kind of the, uh, the flexibility that you can have with this kind of application. Um, you know, it, it's not reliant on brushes to make art look good. It's very much reliant on, you know, the t technique that you decide to execute. And, uh, you know, how much attention to detail you want to be with your work and uh, if if you want to put that time in it, it'll make it worthwhile and the round brush for me is 
is almost like a homage to traditional work in my sense in my in my own sense maybe not for everybody but for me it's like ah yeah it's very you know you get a single brush you plug away at your piece um i think this this approach probably started because i was too lazy to switch my brush there were there are countless instances where you know i'd be rendering a piece and then i'd totally forget that i'm using the same brush like oh yeah i wanted to try this brush and see what it does um but never got to it because i was comfortable with the round brush and i don't think there's anything wrong with that there's certainly not anything wrong with actually going outside of the round brush and you know trying out different ones um and i think for me, the round brush is a great way to be um, to keep my roots in in traditional work. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's a good way to put it. Uh, Okie dokie. Oh my gosh, come out! There we go. All right. So I, I remember in one of my past videos here, we were discussing the gambeson and um you know how how tricky it can be to render how much i love gambesons and their aesthetics but um you know that could be tricky to render in this regard we're gonna give it a go we're gonna do it It's funny because I was already doing it and I already made the decision, but <laughs> my head had to, to catch up. It's like my hand started to go. It's like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, we're we're doing this. Okay, this is fine. We're gonna go go for it. All right, Gambeson. What kind of pattern though? Diamond pattern is gonna be pretty intricate and difficult so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna scoot with just the um uh just a standard good old square now gambesons are fairly thick so once they hit a contour um they don't flex very much which to me in replicating that in art is incredibly hard like clothes in general uh, I I feel like I struggle with because I don't have a good sense of how they how they work how they're interacting with with light sources uh, different consistencies in material uh, that that to me can be uh, extremely tricky and uh, something that I hope to remedy in the future so that I can start branching out and doing other things like character design and whatnot. I don't know. Uh, but it's a, it's a fun topic. It's an interesting topic, but one that I definitely could use some work in. Okay. Ooh, come on. Man, this is, um, my poor laptop really doesn't like having to deal with me right now. I don't blame it. It's doing a lot of hard work. But I would like it to keep plugging away for me because I would like to complete this or at least get pretty far. I, I honestly might take a break. Um... I've been going at this uh, for, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, maybe a couple hours, maybe it's just a half an hour I'm being lazy, I'm not entirely sure, but to me it's, it feels like it's been, it's been a, it's been a, a good session, so um, I might, once I get kind of a base here, I might go ahead and uh, call it, and 
come back another time so that I can finish this for Micah. It's been an ongoing process, like I said. It's been, uh, it's been an exhausting, exhausting time for me. Not a bad time, though. Just, just getting tired. Okay, so his knees raised up there, and it's kind of giving his, uh, pushing his gambus in forward. Um, this back leg looks a little, looks a little small. Uh, so what I plan on doing is actually extending this leg out just a bit more and actually fading this one out. It's a technique that I see a lot of with um, concept artists. And not sure if it's, ooh boy, if that's something that I can do here, if that's kosher or not. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of the, uh, the drop shadow here. Um, give me some room to kind of manipulate that and give me some idea of how to, how to work with it. Um, but I'd say for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I'll probably be done for the night and we'll probably come back to this hopefully soon. Hopefully I'm not caught up with school and work and I can come back and enjoy this uh, enjoy this painting because it it's this has been a lot of fun um, this is completely new to me in terms of making videos and like the processes and actually talking about my process it kind of it definitely is going to show me um, you know how I how I look at things how I process things how I go about executing um, it's not a professional way of doing this by probably far from it but uh, I'm hoping that's what I can look back on and and, uh, and change and or uh, improve upon but yeah I think this is a good place to stop I will see you guys on the next one so thank you I am done all right bye